So I have had this X Maker Joy for a few months now and I am really happy with how the results have been in my prints. So these are some of the things I've printed with the X Maker so far. This fun little Q-tip launcher. Um, I've got this articulated dragons, really cool. I love these articulated prints. You literally just print them in place like this and all the joints print with it. Um, that turned out great and I love the filament that I used too with the dual color there. Um, there's this Easter egg decoration, so you can print little decorations um, for your home. This one turned out great. You can see the quality of the print there. And then I also was able to print my own file. So this is a custom name tag that I designed myself and I uploaded the file to the app. So it does have the capability to do the custom designs along with the things in the app. XMaker Joy is a really simple 3D printer. It's got your um, extruder, it's got your flexible print bed. So you can see there the flexible ability is what makes it easy to peel the prints off. It's a fairly small print bed surface, which is one of the only downsides of the printer. Um, it's very simple. As you can see, it doesn't have any buttons. It doesn't have a touch screen or anything like that. It's all done through the app. At the back, you have the filament spool. And so the filament feeds in through the back there. It's got the on and off switch. And it does have the dust cover for the filament, which I think is really nice to keep the um, filament uh, away from dust. Um, so it's really simple design and it, that's what makes it nice for kids. There's not a lot of buttons or things to press um, and it's very easy for kids to use. So here was the unboxing and setup. Um, it essentially came fully pre-assembled. You just had to pull out that little bit of styrofoam, plug it in, um, install the spool, which was very easy to do, and then follow the app instructions. Certainly there's no complicated tools. You don't need a screwdriver. There's literally nothing that needs assembly. It's just essentially taking it apart. Um, you turn it on and you can see the lights on there. Um, and then you'll want to um, use the app. So it's called the X Maker app. So you just click that there and then you're going to want to go to the add a printer and then you're going to choose the X Maker Joy. That's what we have. You'll connect it. Um, so that's easy to do through the Wi-Fi. And then you're going to get started by first loading in your filament. So you can see here on the app that I'm going to pull up the um, camera. You can actually see there is a camera included in this. So you're going to press load. And so you'll see that the nozzle temp is currently at 20, but it's going to go all the way up to 230 degrees Celsius as part of the loading process. So I'm going to speed this up for you so you can see. But essentially, you'll see the filament coming through that white um, filament cover and you can see it's coming towards the printer and the app will tell you when it's fully loaded. You'll also be able to see some of the filament coming out of the nozzle at the end. I didn't really need to adjust or calibrate my bed. It comes pre-calibrated, but it's possible to do so if you have any issues. That's one of the things I like about this printer, um, as well as the AOC X Maker, um, is that it comes really fully assembled and ready to go. So then you just go in and you want to choose your first print and the app has all kinds of different designs that you can just pick and choose. So you don't have to do anything complicated. You literally just pick whichever design you want and um, then you'll click the design and you'll press the print button that will allow your model to be um, sliced so you can see here you'll see what it would look like on the 3d printer red you press the print button and it will um, slice the print for you. You can choose different settings, so you can choose whether to have a raft. I chose not to have a raft for my articulated prints because I find they come out better that way. Um, so that's how you get started with printing with the 3D printer. So now I'll just show you some of the prints that I have made so far. So this was my articulated dragon slash lizard that was printing. You can see the process of printing. It goes through layer by layer, and that's how it turned out. 
what you do is you pull it off the print bed. You have that flexible print bed there. You can see there was a little bit of stringing, so I just used some clippers to clean that up. You could also use some fine sandpaper as well. And then you uh, peel it off the print bed um, by folding it like this. It's a very satisfying sound. And these articulated prints are so cool. All the joints are printed in place, and yet they're able to move around when you peel them off the printer bed. It's very cool. So I definitely love how this turned out. I used a dual color filament, so it seamlessly transitioned from one color to the next, and I really love how it looks. So this was my 3D printed Q-tip lawn chair. It um, was easily printed on the print bed. Nice flat print. So again, I pulled it off the print bed and then flexed the bed to be able to pull it off. And this one was a simple design where you actually um, use a little bit of the flexibility of the filament. So you pull like this and you can see that it will hook into the filament there. Um, there's a little bit of give on the filament and that's how you get the launch effect. Um, you just cut off the tip of a Q-tip and then you'll have the launcher, which is pretty cool. My kids definitely love this one and I like that it's not a toothpick. It's a little bit of a soft edge. So that one's really fun. You can see how that works. Um, then, like I said, I also printed my custom name tag. So this is a custom file I designed on Tinkercad, an STL file. Um, and so I uploaded that using the app. I like that you're able to also upload your own custom files or things that you download off the internet. I really like that. And it turned out great as well. So overall, I really like the way this printer is super easy to use, great for kids you're able to print off a whole bunch of toys and trinkets just with the touch of a button using the app. Kids can do it themselves, of course, with adult supervision. I like that you can still do your custom designs. Um, the only main negatives would be that um, the print size is a little bit small, so you're limited to smaller items. And the print quality, it's not as great as some of the um, full-size FDM printers that I have. As you saw, there was a little bit of stringing with some of the prints that I had but again for what it is which is a really great beginner printer that's easy for kids to use that doesn't require a lot of calibration or updating of settings or leveling it's pretty good and I think if you're using it for kids to make some fun toys or trinkets at home or design things that are simple like the name tag I think it's going to really serve you well and um, I think it's a great printer overall for that purpose.